Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On, and this is another edition of Match Preview Battle. I've got Emma Story to my right. Hello. I've got Reese James to my left. Hello. Most importantly though, after last week's two match battles, uh, Match Preview Match Battles, I've got to tell you what the state of affairs are with the league table. First off, for the Dortmund versus Spurs game, which was Craig versus Reese, I can tell you that uh, Reese managed to get 10 predictions right. That's respectable. Uh, within the predictions of the team and the score and the scorers. Craig, however, managed to get 11 right, oh. meaning that he gets the three points uh, for the win and Reese left on zero. For the Bournemouth game, which was Craig versus Emma, uh, Craig got 15 points overall and Emma also got 15 points each, uh, 15 points all, meaning a draw, so one point each. That currently leaves the league table after two Doesn't match matter, really. preview battles at, in <laughs> third is, place, really need to hear this. and third place with zero points really need to know this. is Reese James. Ooh, um, never heard of her. In second place uh, with uh, one point is Emma Story, and top of the league currently uh, with four points is Craig Mitch, uh, but only after two match He's played one game more. He's game played one game more. They both, these two have got a game in hand. This is I their game in hand. Uh, and this game Plus. in hand, match preview battle is Germany versus England. Germany versus England. Obviously, it's international break this week, so we've gone all international. They've got to pick the England team. They have got to uh, tell us what the score will be in their, uh, their prediction and who the scorers will be. Uh, they will also be telling us uh, a nice little stat about the game and some personal memories of the Germany-England game. So, seeing as he is bottom of the league, coming up first with his score prediction, Reese James. Now, okay, score prediction first. Score prediction and scores. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. 3-2 <Okay. laughs> Germany. 3-2 to, to Germany going against uh, England. Okay, yeah. fine. And who do you think will score for England and Germany then? Kane and Welbeck. Okay. And for Germany, Ozil, Müller and Royce. Okay, good. So we've got 3-2 to Germany from Reese. Let's go to Emma. That what are your predictions and out. the scorers? Well, hilariously, I've also got 3-2 to Germany. Interesting. Um, but I'm going to lose a point straight away because I didn't pick any German scorers. Sorry, I only picked the England well, ones. You're not going to lose a point it. unless he gets some right. Oh, okay, fair enough. But you can improvise if you want. Uh, no, that's all right. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> so confident about her England score. Yeah, she doesn't feel she has to. Uh, Kane and Barkley. Oh, Ross Barkley. Yeah. No, one, no one thinking Deli Ali will score. Interesting. Uh, okay, so we're going to go on to the team selections now. Uh, Emma, I'm going to come to you first. What is your first 11 for the England team against Germany? Look, here's the thing, right? Nobody knows what Roy Hodges is going to do. Literally, nobody knows. Does Roy know? I don't he think makes, Roy But he knows. makes a lot of decisions we all disagree with. So uh, you know, it, I, I don't oh, think anyone's got a clue. a clue. So I'm defending my team selection already by just okay. saying it's probably going to be complete rubbish. She did this yeah, last week and she's too. above you in the league, so uh, I wouldn't... Yeah. <laughs> she, she did all I've this, got... oh, I'm rubbish at this, and she's above you, mate. So uh, anyway, Emma, go for it. Yeah, but this is different as England. It's different. Anyway, so Joe Hart obviously had to uh, withdraw through injury. So yeah. Fraser Forster in goal. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then a back four of Walker, Stones, Jagielka and Rose. Ooh, Walker ahead of Klein, interesting. Absolutely. Mm. And then a midfield in whatever order you like of Ali, Dyer, Barkley and Drinkwater. Okay, Ali, Dyer, Barkley, Drinkwater. Okay, four, four in midfield. Okay. And then two up front, Sturridge. And Harry Kane. Sturridge and Kane. Okay, so quite an old school 4 4 2 formation. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. I mean, very Roy Hodgson is. I feel Roy, Roy Hodgson's quite old school. Yeah, and I feel especially going, Germany, he's yeah. very old. And against Germany as well. That. I don't think he's going to be tempted to experiment massively. But, okay. you know, who knows? Who I knows? I mean, I've certainly never seen him play a 4 4 2 yet. So let's see if that happens. <laughs> uh, Reese James. I've gone quite bold and quite different. That's good. Actually. Butland, Rose, Cahill, and Smalling. Oh, mm. Stones hasn't been playing for Everton, so that's interesting. And Walker, then Henderson, Dyer, mm. and Ali, mm. Welbeck, Kane, and Sturridge. Four three three. You've gone for yeah. four three three. More progressive, more continental. He won't do that, but that is uh, <laughs> I quite like to see that. Okay. Henderson. So that's. Uh, I think well, I'd personally put Vardy in there above Welbeck, but I, he loves Welbeck, doesn't he? And Welbeck's been quite good recently. Yeah, so you think Vardy will come on as an impact sub? I think Vardy I do, but I also, on. yeah, I think 
It'll okay. start. I think save Vardy for the next one. Yeah. Okay, so that's uh, that's the end of the competitive element of this. We'll tell you next week how they got on. Let's go for some memories. Uh, Reese, I want to come to you first. Any particular personal memories of England versus Germany? 5-1, 2001. Oh, yes. Well, Good memory. Owen oh, I, I was. I was in my student union going absolutely mental. Very nice. Shows how old I am. <laughs> I was at my friend James O'Brien's house. Probably age, what, five? Yeah, must have been about that, <laughs> yeah. Four or five. Uh, good memory. Yeah. Uh, very. Owen oh, Hattrick, Heskey got one. Heskey did get gave one. The of old, course uh, he did get one. Go and Gerald the that, the didn't he? Go you know, the old that after. You know, you know it's yeah. bad when Heskey exactly. scores against you. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Uh, and then Gerald scored that lovely goal, didn't Oh, it, it was an absolute pile driver, wasn't it? Yeah. Skidded along classic the ground. Classic Gerald. Cut under it, bent into the Absolute corner. Past, uh, past Oliver Kahn. Ah, oh, uh, Oliver so that, Kahn. that was a good memory. Okay, Emma, what about you? Well, funnily enough, I'm obviously a little bit older than Reese. My memories of Germany are generally all quite bad ones. I think Germany's been the team that's made me cry almost as much as Tottenham have Ooh. over the past like 30 years. Never again though. Well, <laughs> Italia 90. I mean, I don't even know where to start. There's so many bad ones. Italia 90, I was there as a little eight year old at home crying my eyes out when Chris Waddle and Stuart Pearce missed those penalty uh, kicks. I'd already cried inconsolable. When, Gaza, when Gaza cried himself. Completely inconsolable. Well, speaking of Gaza, Euro 96, Gaza about this far away mm. from putting us into the final yeah. of the competition on the golden goal rule, but no, didn't make it. And As we I lost remember, on it was penalties it across, again. Was it a cross from Darren Anderton, maybe? Yes, I think a it little, was. A little cross on and the, he, he just, he never just quite couldn't, got there he just couldn't quite get it. And then also, you know, just to add insult to injury, back in 2000, Kevin Keegan's last game, we played so badly in the final mm. game at the old Wembley, we yeah. lost 1 0. Keegan, Keegan Haman. walks out and quit he <laughs> straight quit in, after the he match. He quit in the toilet. Yeah. He quit in the toilet of the change rooms after Deep Mahaman so, had scored the winner from a free kick against them. I can't say. In a sodden and, a and oh, I'm sorry, there is one more, as if, as if we could forget this. World Cup 2010. We are, in fairness, England are the reason that we now have goal line technology. Yeah. yeah. Because there was a goal and it wasn't given. Yeah. And it was Frank Lampard. And I remember Frank. being in the pub, being in the pub in Camden with a load of my schoolmates. And we were all set, we were jumping around for a good five minutes celebrating because we assumed that goal had been given. It took us quite a while to realise that actually, no, it hadn't, even yeah. though it was quite clearly 17 feet over the line. That's Thankfully, that Seth Blatter saw it. Was it classic Mendes. Yeah. Oh, it was no, worse than Mendes. Pedro Mendes. It was worse oh, than Mendes. Mendes which... He was actually touching the net when the Mendes. Yeah, Roy, yeah. Roy Carroll was actually touching the net when the Mendes thing happened. But, but it was but emotionally, it was equally it was, yeah, as bad. It was horrible. It, yeah. Horrible so, moment. and we went on to lose that four-one, obviously. <laughs> Just uh, bye by bye, way, England Reece, again. Reece one memory, Emma seven memories. <laughs> you cut me off. <laughs> that was good. That's fine. No. Did I did. What? I did. Yeah, I did one memory, and then you cut me off. How many years. do you have there then? Uh, we won the World Cup against them <laughs> in 1966. <laughs> Is okay, that a personal? That's the personal, personal memory, memory for me. I bought the DVD. Martin Peters scored, and then I met him, and he talked to me about it. Uh, fantastic. Good. Cool. And then he gave name, name me a signed dropping. photo of him that I hadn't asked for. Okay, Martin. He said I've got to get rid of him all by Martin Christmas. Martin Peters, <laughs> genuinely uh, West Ham legend. Uh, fantastic. So, um, more importantly. What is your little stat to do with this game or England in general? Roy Hodgson has earned £1 million since he last coached England 125 <laughs> days ago. <laughs> Oh my God. That is a great stat uh, and really annoying. Uh, yeah. Okay, Emma and you? Oh, this is going to be an equally annoying stat. Um, since 1966, we've played Germany six times in tournament finals and we've only won once. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, that was in Euro 2000 when Alan Shearer scored the goal in a 1-0 win. I remember win. where I was for that Woo-hoo! as well. Great header at the back post across the keeper. That was fantastic. But that's the only uh, time. And that, that win actually... <laughs> in finals. We've beaten them in friendlies, we've beaten them in qualifiers, yeah. but in the actual finals. That win uh, in... in 2000 actually led them to completely rip up their um, blueprint of how to run German football from uh, the grassroots and from what they've rebuilt from that they now are World Cup winners so that's what Brilliant. England have to aspire to basically when they're trying to do the same with St George's Park etc etc anyway that's been uh, our match preview battle England versus Germany let us know in the comment section below whose lineups and score predictions and scores you agree with more or if you have totally different views let us know what they are don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube follow us on Twitter at Spurred on TV and we'll let you know who was victorious in that match preview battle next week come on you Spurs now this week the topics we're talking about are Harry Kane's pursuit of the golden boot Harry Kane's new box Boxing career and UFC career. Dyer saying that we cannot get tired and we don't need to get tired. Uh, the Dortmund fans being impressive. Sunes saying that Spurs have a huge advantage over Leicester because we're young. And Ericsson saying that he's been texting Schmeichel, winding him up about the title race.